How's it going, guys? Bluebird Gamer here. Welcome back. Um, you may think this is my this is your update video. Yes, I know it's it's probably a little overdue, but I'm I usually make one this time of year, so I wanted to make it. And you guys may think, where's the music? There's always music in these. I don't know how long this is gonna be. I've already tried recording this twice, and both times it went over 20 minutes. And I'm trying not. I'm re-recording it again to try to keep it shorter. But I just have a lot to say, so if it ends up being long this time, I may just have to leave it that way. But I'm not gonna add, try to add my, my two or three minute music soundtracks that I have to fill a 20 minute video. So you guys g get on the treadmill or something. I'm not gonna be doing visual stuff. I'm just gonna be talking or so do put something on or do something while you're just listening to me because I, I have a bit to talk about and this may go long than my other way longer than my other, other update videos for sure. So I will I'll, I'll, I'll get to I'll get to the point. So if you guys don't want to listen to me and you guys don't want to know why I'm making the decision I'm making. You can just go off and do your own thing. Um, I am effectively bringing my seven to eight years of Bluebeard Gamer content creation to a close. Okay, now that half of you clicked off, I can explain why and give my reasonings for those of you who stuck around. For those of you who did, I appreciate it. Because um, you, you obviously don't have to. But, um... I started Bluebird Gamer back in summer of 2015, so we are approaching eight years where I have been doing some kind of content creation, whether it be YouTube or Twitch or or both. And when I originally started it, I had the reasoning of, one, my friend was doing it and it looked like fun. Two, I actually had an okay computer at that point, so I could actually kind of do stuff, although... If you go back to my early videos, you will see it still was not great quality. The lag spikes were ridiculous when I tried to record games, and the quality was not good because I just could not produce good quality with the hardware I had. Three, I was playing a lot of video games already because I had kind of eased into a bit into gaming. Not as bad as it not as bad not as bad as it would be a couple of years from then, but I was doing a decent bit of gaming. And four. Because I was a hermit, I already talked to myself all the time when I was playing video games anyway, so I figured, with all that, let's turn a camera on, and I'll basically be doing what I'm already doing, but I'll be able to make YouTube videos and be able to entertain people. That was my original logic for it. As I have developed over the past seven years, mentally, physically, all that, spiritually, all that stuff, I think I'm, com I'm coming to the realization that I believe what I didn't realize at the time was that there was a creative aspect to my mind, because I'm really a heavy, a numbers, math, processes guy, and I definitely a majority of that. But there's a creative side to me that I don't think I noticed, because I ended up going on to do choir, I ended up doing a couple of theatrical productions, one of which I was the lead in, you guys, some, some of you may know that already, but, um, and I've been a part of several cinematic projects. I was part of Tiramis TV before, or the Tiramis Project as a whole, before it got torpedoed, and unfortunately you guys didn't really get to see too much of that, but it was... I was body actor, voice actor, builder. I helped very minute amount with scripting and flow of a couple different things. But I was basically, yeah, I was helping more or less to run the project, as I say, as I look back. But, um, yeah, all the, basically all this to say, I was a big fan of being able to, of, of telling these stories. And the cinematics that I've made the past couple years, for example, I've made a couple of cinematics I'm really happy with in terms of the quality. Those are probably those are those are some of my favorite videos I've ever made. They don't have the views to back it up. I don't know why my Arcade Triumph video has three hundred something views because the quality on it is so bad and it's from so long ago. But the cinematics I put out now, as an example, I'm I would not go back and change a thing about them. I love the way they turned out because it's the storytelling aspect that I, I was passionate about. I had an idea for a story I wanted to tell or something I wanted to tra transmit across to people and share with people, and I turned that into a cinematic and shared it. All that has developed from back in 2015, me playing Pokemon Brick Bronze on Roblox or something, or me built, doing the Let's Build Campsite series, and me just doing what I was already doing, but turning on a camera and talking more while I was doing it. And I think that creative side of me is still there, but I see where this content creation has helped to take me. I'm not saying it's solely responsible, but I do believe it's been a contributing factor to where uh, back in June of 2022 is the best example I can make of this. 
I, for a few years at that point, had been averaging probably about 10 hours of screen time a day, whether that be through video gaming, through YouTube, through social media. Not as much social media, because I've never been that social, but very much so with the previous two. I just was not... I just was not doing anything with my life uh, outside of... I was doing school still. I, I I got all the way through an undergraduate degree for over that four-year span that I'm referring to. And I was working still. I was working part-time to help pay for stuff like that and to be able to pay for gas and all that. So I was still doing some productive things. But in terms of actually developing myself by working out and being able to keep up my physical health, working on things for my spiritual and mental health. I just was not doing that for four years. And I noticed the impacts of the, of not working on that and just doing gaming 10 hours a day for four years. By June 2022, I was in a really bad state mentally. I, two or three times a month, I would have days where I would just be not suicidal. I'm a couple stages above that in terms of uh, being good. Because I, I, I wasn't to that point. But I would have severe bouts of nihilism where I would go the whole day. Just, I do not want to do anything. There's no point to this. I do not want to be here. I'm not going to take action about it, but I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be sad if something happens. Is basically, it was basically my logic. And I reached a point where I thought, this cannot be good. My life frankly, it's not like I've had any big tragedies in my life that would cause me to think like this. So I am doing something to myself that is causing me to be in this state mentally and physically. I also had a lot of joint problems, health, physical health issues, nothing major, but not issues I should be having at early 20s for context. I'm sure I have some form of arthritis already in my 20s. That shouldn't be happening, as an example. And I think it's because of the lifestyle and the chase choices I've made. So I thought to myself, and I was also having a lot of headaches, what I think was were part gaming, part screen induced, part diet induced. So I thought, I have to fix this. So back in July, you guys already know a lot about this. For if you've listened to my if you've watched my streams, because I've rambled about it on my Minecraft hardcore streams as an example. That's where I've talked about it a lot. Starting in July, I really kicked it into high gear on my self improvement. Cut out basically all sugars except for fruit more or less, so I'm not eating candy, cakes, cookies, ice cream, any of that stuff, not even soda. The unhealthiest thing I've probably drunk in the past six months is maybe an occasional glass of chocolate milk, or one glass, a small glass, back in on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day or something of some apple cider. And I shouldn't even have drank that, frankly. I didn't want to. I was kind of browbeat into doing it because... They'd all bought it, and they didn't want it to go bad. Or my family bought it, and they didn't want it to go bad. But, um, yeah, I did that. I really got into exercising. I exercise five days a week now. I have done a lot more reading. I've done a lot more learning of a second language to help my, to help build my mental fortitude. And the big one was I cut my screen time. I made a commitment to cut my screen time down to, or mostly gaming. There were some things I did on my screen, such as uh, Duolingo, for example. I wasn't counting that towards my hour because... That was pure. That was pure product, product productivity reasons. But in terms of gaming and YouTube and stuff like that, I was making a commitment to cut it down to an hour a day. Whereas before, I would do maybe ten hours a day. Now I was doing less than. Now my goal was to do less than ten hours a week, and that was a big change. But all of these changes I mentioned, I noticed immediate, almost immediate changes in my health, physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. I. I think now I'm probably in the best shape I've been mentally. Maybe not physically, because I used to do track and things like that in high school. Not really put me in shape. But best state me mentally for sure, maybe in the past seven or eight years. Maybe since, you know, elementary school or something. Because my middle school years weren't great, mentally speaking. For reasons I may have mentioned in the past, I don't remember. But, yeah, I, I, I feel great now in all sorts of ways. And I mentioned all the other reasons I was improving, but I think the screen time was a big thing because when in August, maybe late, late August, early September, I started really getting back into content creation because I wanted, admittedly, I wanted to be able to participate in a Minecraft cinematic series or a Minecraft role-playing server that was going on. And I wanted to be able to help as part of my storytelling thing I already mentioned. 
I wanted to be able to help t- help be able to develop the story and be able to share be able to share this experience with people. But I did a lot, and but also because I was wanted to diversify the amount of content I was doing, things like Minecraft played up. I did a bit of. I ended up going from probably streaming two hours a week, maybe, to streaming more like eight hours or eight hours to nine hours a week, and I noticed the effects of that on my mental health. It didn't get to where I was in that June, but it did start going down. I could notice, and my screen time and gaming time, because I was kind of indulging myself in this, I was kind of letting my guard down a little bit. I'm not saying the I'm not saying the streaming is responsible. But it certainly is a contributing factor, in my opinion. My gaming time started going back up again. And when I hit early December, when I should have been studying for my exams, I was probably gaming eight hours a day again. Or it was on my screen, combined you know, gaming and phone. I was eight to ten hours a day. I had basically reverted back to where I was before. Now, I was still doing all these other habits. I was still doing my language learning. I was still working out. I was able to keep up with those. I was able to keep up with my diet. But I noticed that my reading was starting to revert back i wasn't reading as much as i was before before i would read maybe one book a year and six months i read probably four or five big big books not you know 50 page books you know 200 300 page books i was knocking them out i was i was listening to several hours of podcasts a day for history for politics for government learning all of these doing a lot of learning and i was noticing those were starting to revert a little bit because i was spending more of this time on gaming and for the exams, as an example, there was there was a day where I had, okay, I have literally nothing going on. I can study, I can get, I don't have to study the whole day, I don't think, but I could get six hours of studying in, and I could get an easy A on this exam. And what I would end up doing is I would play video games or watch YouTube for 10 hours, and then at 7 p.m., I would have two hours because I go to bed at 9 o'clock. I've, so my sleep schedule is also something I've worked on improving. Um, I would have two hours to study before my exam tomorrow. And that, that, those two hours I would at, that night, at 7 p.m. at night when I'm already tired and I want to go to bed, I'd be studying, and I still did fine in my exams. I've Admittedly, I'm not trying to brag, but I've never really had too much of a problem, academically speaking, because I've enjoyed academics more, more or less the entire time I've been in academics. But I know for a fact I could have done significantly better if I had not been doing all this gaming and it and st- i wasn't even streaming these days so it's not necessarily streaming's fault but i had eased myself back into a point where i was sh- playing eight to ten hours of video games a day and i definitely think streaming played a part in that because it was normalizing you know okay oh yeah, i'll play two hours a day i know it's not my one hour but it's because i'm doing content creation so it's okay for me to go over my limit in this it's kind of like the justification of someone who's trying to recover from drinking oh yeah it's just it's just one drink it's for social things and while it's not completely responsible for if you revert, you know, back to your, back to be, being a uh, back to being an alcoholic, it's certainly not helping, and that's kind of the analogy I'm trying to draw here. It alone is not going to cause this problem, but you're opening yourself up to redeveloping this problem. And that's exactly what I did. So I took when I came back on December twentieth. And did that stream after, because my finals had been over, I took a few days break after that, and I said, okay, I'm ready to start streaming again. I enjoyed it, for sure. I enjoyed that stream, I'm not trying to say I didn't. Because I wanted to do it, and I did it. But I, after ha- having taken a 15 day or so break from streaming, I had felt my mental my mental improvement start to come back. And I thought, now I have a decision to make. Do I go back to streaming and really try not to... In- I could really try to make the commitment to keep my streaming limited and try to keep try to improve my habits and keep and try to strike a compromise here or the best of both worlds or do I just admit that this is a problem gaming is a problem I have had for 8 years and do I just and I do I just say okay if this if this hand is causing me to sin cut it off and I came to the decision that it would probably be best for me to just cut the hand off. I'm not cutting my hands off, by the way. I, I, I use these very much for my for my actual job that I do, so I can't cut them off. But um, metaphorically speaking, uh, the gaming or the the streaming is a hand that I have to cut off. So that is the reasoning for why why I made this decision. Um, and as I said, I very much enjoy the storytelling and being able to do social gaming 
So being able to, be, being able to play an hour with people, my friends, is very much enjoyable. So I'm not going to be cutting stuff like that out. I'm still keeping an hour because I have found that when I, when I keep my gaming time at an hour and I stick to it, that hour of gaming... I so I enjoy it so much more than the ten hours I would do previously. Because I know if I pick the right game, I can make this hour count, and I know that I'm not drawing too much away from my other product, my actual productivity. But I'm able to give my mind a break and be able to just enjoy myself for a little bit and still be able to get all this stuff knocked out. And I've enjoyed it so much. So, I. I'm going to try to keep. I'm going to keep it at an hour. I'm going to set myself back to an hour, and you'll still probably see me in an occasional video. I uh, a lot of my friends who do content creation that I have met through these past few years ask me for help on being in videos. Uh, I'll probably have a couple links in the description below of people where I maybe would be more likely to be in videos of, but also examples of videos I have been in recently, or or people who I am um, have helped with videos that may or may not come out hint hint um but yeah i i i will probably still be helping people with that so if you see me in someone else's youtube video don't think oh my gosh bluebeard gamer abandoned us he's he's going off at, he's he's cheating on us with other content creators no i'm not i'm not doing that i if it's an occasional thing where i'm helping someone out with a video and being able to do social gaming with them and being able to help them with their content creation or helping with a project like what tier mist the, what the Tiramis project was, I am more than happy to do that. Because as I mentioned, that's kind of why I, in my opinion, why I actually started doing the content creation in the first place. And that's still something I really enjoy doing, because it's a lot harder to do the, the theater, for example, when I'm not in a school with a theater program that's very easy to access and is built into, it can be built into my actual school schedule. Nowadays, if I want to do acting, I have to go out of my way to go find a theater group or have to try to, you know, get involved with the project. It, it's a lot, it's, it's, it's not as easy. So if I'm able to help out with these projects, I, I, I will probably take them up on it and you may see me there, but it's, it's not going to be that and all the streaming I've been doing and all the YouTube video making I've been doing because that's just, that's just a bit much. You may, I'm not, I'm probably, I'm, I'm going to be probably stopping entirety streaming on Twitch I'm going to be probably deactivating my Twitter account because I use that for content creation purposes. And if I'm cutting out content creation, I don't need my Twitter. I'm probably going to be I'm probably going to be closing my Discord channel. I'll still keep my account because I use it to communicate with the people I've already mentioned that I've met through this, as well as some friends I know IRL that I just don't get to see all the time, so I communicate with them through that. So I'm not going to be closing my Discord account, but I will be closing my Discord server because I use that for content creation. And if I'm closing content creation, I see no need to keep it. Um, I will keep this YouTube account. Absolutely. There's a lot of history on this account. I'm not getting rid of it. And also, every now and then, if I feel inspired to do some theatrical uh, cinematic creation like I've done the past couple years, for example, I'll probably put it out on here to show you guys to be able to help share that story. Because I, pr I enjoy the process of making it a lot, so I'll probably still make them anyway. But if I get to share them with you guys, that's a nice bonus, and I'll do that. And... Also, in a couple years, if I'm able to, I'd love to be able to come back and say, this is where I'm at now. I made this decision two or three or four years ago or something, however long it would have been. This is where I've been able to go as a result because, as I mentioned, I've, I, I, I fully am, am convinced that what I have had for the past several years of, in terms of gaming is it could be classified as an addiction. It is... I never had much of a social life anyway, so I'm not going to say it cut into that, but it cut into a lot of other areas where I could have been improving and I could have been developing, and instead I would just sit and play video games. So, I I know there are lots of other people that have this problem, and if I can come back in a couple years and make a video and say, I had to make the hard choice to cut out you know, 90% of my gaming or 95% of my gaming and my content creation and all the stuff I've enjoyed, and this is what I was able to do as a result of being able to have this discipline. I wanted to be able to share that story with people. It's it's a bit of a personal thing, obviously. I don't I wouldn't have to do it. It's not required by any means, but it's something I would like to do. So this video ends up being is ended up being just as long as the other two takes that I did. And at this point, I'm not re-recording it a fourth time. So you guys are just gonna have probably listen to a long video. And I appreciate if you've stuck around all this time to hear me out, because I've just had a lot to talk about in this regard. 
I wanted to make sure that it doesn't seem like I'm just abandoning you guys because I've gotten bored of the content creation because I haven't. But I, I have genuine reasons that I've thought about for months on end about progressing my life and not sitting at a standstill. Because outside of school and work, I believe I've been at a standstill in my life for the past four going on five years. Basically nothing has changed other than I know a few more friends... I have been doing school and work, but other than that, I have not developed at all, and I want to be able to improve on those areas. So, for those of you who have sat through and listened to this whole thing, maybe you were, like I said, walking on the treadmill of holding laundry or doing something else, I appreciate you listening, um, and for those of you who I have met through this that I may never talk to or see again, because just due to the nature of the internet, I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic life. I hope you're able to just find so much joy and satisfaction in what you do for your job or if you have a family or if you just contribute to society, any, any of that stuff. I, I just hope you have a fulfilling and satisfying life and I wish you the best. I've never done I've never done anything other than wishing you guys the best in all of this. So I'll be calling it there. This video can't go on for too long. I've already brought, dragged it way longer than it had to be, but I had a lot to say. So thank you for listening. And until next time... Should there be a next time? This is Bluebird Gamer signing off. God bless America.